Uther. Versus Uther. It's a lot of pallies. Everyone's a pally. With honor. Justice demands retribution. I think it's just about evened out. Maybe the meta game. Well met. Well met. Put this apple on your head. It's actually a little bit awkward because of Noble Sack. We can choose not to attack next turn because we can Zombie Chow. Almost certainly not attacking. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not attacking. I'd rather put the chow in the middle, actually. Reporting for duty. His hand, three secret opening. It's not good for him. I had a bad opening this game, but I guess it evened out at this point. I gotta consecrate by not attacking. It's not like I was too weak to consecrate by not attacking. Because if I did attack, he wouldn't have to consecrate. He could just play anything. <laughs> this guy's annoying. This guy's gonna be scary, this recruit. He's gonna get avenged. I, I can't hear power here. I'm just gonna have to attack. You know, there is a world actually where. I could have just waited to turn six and not try to get any of his secrets and maybe just don't, don't attack there that turn and just play Shredder. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I really don't like what I did. He only got two secrets. One of them is probably Compass Spirit, Avenge Noble Sack. He's only running one Redemption or Repentance, or in his deck it could be a possibility. You also have to be on your A game playing against Secret Paladin because mm. there's a lot of unintuitive things that people aren't used to that are correct against Secret Paladin. Like leaving up secrets, not attacking, things like that. What I lost is I, for some reason, mm. that one turn I attacked, I forgot about the redemption on Noble Sack. Because if that was the case, I thought I could still protect my Murloc Knight. It's gonna be Kings. That should be fine for me. No, it's gonna go face. Put 
The battle! The battle! <laughs> The battle! Duty right calls for justice. I'll definitely win the race. He doesn't have three turns to use his weapon. Especially with the double consecrate I have next turn. Hopefully. Mm. <laughs> and Secret Pound's not really known for being able to play defensively. Other than the one consecrate, maybe. Uh, the about the tie thing, I don't really know if that even would be a tie, since technically Consecrate kills him before, even if the Boomba ended up killing me, I think I would still get the victory, I'm actually not sure. Because it's not triggered at the same instance, like Hellfire, it's exactly the same, so you both die together. But, you know, I, I don't actually know if you die. In a tie, you don't you both don't lose or in ladder, you don't lose or win. Both people stay the same rating. It's like you never played. No, you don't both lose. Well you both get the defeat screen, but it doesn't really change your rating. No one loses anything. You know, we can just hear power and then yeah, I like that a lot better. I would have missed this move if I was playing too fast. Ultimately, I could just trade a couple charges of muster with like one or two recruits. Maybe let's let's say two recruits, but I get to play juggler on turn four. So it looks like it's a Malagos warlock, maybe. I thought it was handlock, so. That I had a little bit more leeway here. And game kind of makes this hard for me. It's still maybe not worse what I did. Because I can get a juggle on turn 4. Oh. Hello? Hey, we're downstairs. Alright, alright. Let me come down. Okay, come down. Alright, well this game is I gotta go kind of downstairs. For justice. Put this apple on your head. Reporting for duty. For justice. The battle! You're back. I think I, I think I probably lost. Alright. I told Tides to do it. Save my game. Amaz the pizza guy. From the void I come. It's not that, it's like I was streaming, it's hard to do that when you're streaming. I have set up a- wait, what is this? It's a mid range. it's- okay, so he's using the dragon lock shell, like the Mali lock shell, but replacing the dragons with demons. It's kind of like a mid range demon. I wouldn't say Demon Zoo because it's not Zoo, it's more of a control deck at this point. He's definitely a control deck, but uh... Like Demon Zoo is like the Tempo Mage as... I, I don't know how to explain it, I guess, but... We'll see. I don't want to commit too much on board at once, so... Hawkhammer and this. I almost feel like Belcher. Let I can't, that's too weak to Hellfire. Let none survive. What justice? 
that was, that was pretty good. So many possibilities. Uh, yes, you hear me streaming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say hi to the UV. Oh my god, I'm getting Hey dead guys! Uh oh. <laughs> this could be ugly. Mm. Oh. Huh, I've never actually played against <laughs> I've never played against this before. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't really have a good plan. I don't know what to do now. You can steal one. <laughs> yeah. What if I flood this whole board with dried steeds? Can you do anything? But can I even win after that? Well, you can't. He always is gonna have a spot, right? He's gonna have one spot. Yeah, he always has one spot. <laughs> yeah. Let me think. Cause I have to kill Baron mm. Revendera at some point. I don't know. That's a hard turn. I guess I'm just all in. I can't beat dried steeds in the long run, right? It's don't impossible. So. Yeah. Do you think it's better to flood his board? All right, I'm all in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, basically, yeah. I don't know what to do. It's at this point, I can't play a long game, right? Because Dread Seed is gonna beat me eventually. And I never, I, I don't have anything in my deck that would be able to stop this in the long run. I don't know if eight or six Dread Seeds really would help that much, since he always has one slot. So I think my only chance is to all in him, maybe while playing around AoE as much as possible. So. Dude, you're 28. Yeah, that's crazy. Good. What? That's, not, that's, <laughs> that's, that's really, okay. That's crazy. That's okay. Hmm. It's all right. Humble strife. So Boombots kind of suck. <laughs> yeah, I feel like his deck would run a lot of big game hunters. I mean, everything is probably going to face here. I feel like it might be better for me. Tempo wise to play these two. Maybe I can kill him before he kills me. It's actually pretty good against Hellfire here. His deck should almost certainly have big game hunter. Well, his board is pretty bad. With yeah, Hellfire. Sludge yeah, Vulture yeah, yeah. is actually really good yeah. at stopping Dread Steeds since it takes like multiple turns. Looks like he's gonna Shadow Flame. Maybe you can reload on Dr. Boom. <laughs> he can't pony! Hey! He can never kill it! I'll just kill him with it! Oh yeah! One damage every turn! <laughs> oh, I'm a genius. Okay. That Are should work. Right yeah. So, hey, hi. How's it going, buddy? Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's... that's good. Dreads? He's holy shit, he has a lot of them on the board. Yeah, this is uh... You're fucking done, though. Yeah, probably. Alright. No, my Dread Sea is gonna lethal him over 11 turns. Same. Boombots hit him for 4 each. Yeah. If I had enough damage of the Tracer, I'd probably just go for it, but I don't have enough, so I'm gonna rely on the Boombots. Oh, dude. We can play the fucking Race for the Galaxy tonight, huh? Yeah. You guys crash in here? You just hang out for a while? You guys have to win it. Oh. Yeah. No, 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 we don't get that to win today. Oh. My friend comes up with it. Damn, you just got destroyed. <laughs> yeah. I can still win. How? Oh, I finally the last turn. With Tristor champions to the face. For justice. If I top that, I consecrate. I win. Oh, Maybe. So Oh yeah. Yeah, it's better than anything else I could do. At this point, I'm not going to be able to get a good core master anyway, so... Core master gives me a lethal, you know, with six damage. Mm. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> Alright, I'm dead. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I think so. 
He has like 12 yeah, yeah, damage. Yeah, 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 even if you kill the anti-hero bomb, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool, right. though. That was cool, yeah, I guess. Cool. Yeah. I don't know how my deck would do against this, because I, I have to all in basically, and my deck isn't that good at all inning, so. I don't know. I thought I saw a good Savannah, but Dread Sea just didn't care about anything getting stolen with all the Baron Rivendell combo. I don't know if his deck can deck consistently, though. That seemed like a dream. You, you, should, you should play it. You know, because, like, on turn 5 or something, right after it got, like, he got, like, 4 or 5 out immediately. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I can play it. I mean, I I try it. I Coils, double packed. Yeah. Is that like the only win condition though? Yeah, or Draxus, I guess. And Malganus is probably in the deck too. Yeah, yeah, Malganus. Malganus wins you the game if you have a lot of Dread Steeds. Double Void Caller. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was unfortunate. Uther versus Garrosh. Victory or death. I will fight with honor. I know I said I usually mold in Chow against Warrior, but I wanted a way to kill Acolyte if I have Muster as well. So I think if you have both Chow and Muster, it's pretty good since you can just get them two cards, but you can kill it pretty easily with Chow and the weapon. So kind of some synergy there. It's a pretty good hand though. This card's not amazing in the grand scheme of things, but these three are hard for Warriors to deal with with weapons. So as long as you, like this is way better than a hand like Juggler, for example. My hand is really sticky as well. If you're playing for value against a controller, you want a really sticky hand. Alright, I love to see that card. With this card I might even hear power turn two. When I play Warrior against Pally, I usually play really high tempo, but other people when I see them play, they kinda of don't respect Core Master. They just like don't hear power down one ones and things like that. Or they don't axe down one ones, they just kinda of YOLO it all the time. Most most of the time. Armor made to fit. <laughs> that was weird. Plat turn three, he must have top decked it. The battle for justice. Kind of a hard turn, whether to shredder or belcher. He's more likely to swing if I do this with shredder. He has option of just not swinging with his weapon. I kind of want to force the swing ASAP. Shredder might be a little bit better if he plays like a six, a five, five, because I can call camera with shredder maybe. Although that's kind of iffy. There's still a child as well. Definitely don't want to give him multiple cards. This trade is kind of weak for me. I might just take the weak trade since I do want to play Shredder. If he plays Dr. Boom, I'm just going to save the weapon. I mean, I have a call camera, but if he plays Dr. Boom, I don't really want a call camera. Or do I? Yeah, it's not great. I mean, it's only okay. <laughs> He's weak to this trade. I get call camera in, and I don't really like. A lot. I don't really like the call camera. I feel like it's pretty good for me to just trade this in. The battle. For justice. Right 
I want to play around Baron Geddon a little bit. If he trades this and Baron Gens, I have an empty board other than the Vitality Totem. I do want to have something on board. His hand must have a lot of uh, single target removal or executes and stuff. Put your face in the light. Alright, uh, let's not make it too complicated, just by Tyrion. So Call Camera Shredder moves may be okay, but still doesn't seem nearly as good. Part of the reason why this match is so bad for, Pal for Warriors is because their Shield Slams and Executes just aren't super amazing. You don't have that many minions that are weak. Mostly it's these small, sticky minions that synergize well together with Quartermaster. I'm giving an opportunity to use on Tyrion, but that's not really that weak. It's still hard. The Divine Shield here is not easy to get off. If he wants to attack into it, that's really expensive to get off. And then after that, I don't really have good targets after the Tyrion. Maybe Dr. Boom, but even that's kind of a sticky minion because of the two Boom bots. So even though his hand looks gigantic, you know, like four or five of his cards are kind of like almost dead cards in a way. I have no time for games. Just trying to steal my guy. I'll probably just uh, kill his guy if I can. I don't know if I can kill his guy. I do want to kill Sylvanas. Ultimately this trade is don't good, but I can't do that. I'm off by a little bit from that trade. Don't test me, child. He doesn't get the trade first into another minion. I should have held some minions back actually for the second brawl. For justice. Reporting for duty. I don't have a lot of defensive cards since I've gone through both Belchers already. I have an Argus. So I just gotta stay ahead on board. Because Alex Straza is kind of scary here for me. For justice. The battle. Reporting for duty. Just gotta stay a little bit ahead on board. Should be fine. Nice, I'm glad I replaced Solanus. I was thinking Shield Maiden can't really Shield Slam, but he also hasn't used any slams yet, so you can just slam and death fight. For justice. I have big game for Alex Draws and Call Hammer. The battle reporting for duty. I want to see my equality, unfortunately I didn't get the equality. But we do have a couple of good situational cards. These are all pretty good situational cards. I can call camera and Sylvanas if I want to as well. So this is really good for me. Doesn't Alex me before this attack? Is there I could probably end up dealing with okay. It's like 1 out of 5 Awakens. Dream is 1 out of 5 as well for Sylvanas. I think this one has a higher payoff. He did manage to get down Ysera before I got my second Quartermaster since he's used double brawl already. What now? Hunter secret? It's 
go ahead and kill you, Sarah, here. Duty calls. The battle for justice. The battle. And snipe. I couldn't play Moroc Knight to snipe, so let's wait next turn. I want to play Moroc Knight originally. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, Champion. He's already used both death spites. I see a player on Baron Geddon, that's all. That's the only thing he has left to win the game with. Duty calls. The battle. The battle. Wait, did he get a Ysera, another Ysera card? I think he has another Ysera card. I guess not, there's no way it's Awakens anymore. He'll never have board control again. I have no time for games. Reporting for duty. The battle. The battle. The battle. For justice. I do want to balance my damage per turn. If I lose the juggler, I lose a lot of damage. Baron Geddon, I feel like I'm okay against that with that when I have this many minions still that are above two health. I've got the beast in my side. Let none survive. The battle! The battle! The battle! The battle. For justice! I've got the beast in my side. Well played. Well played. Let none survive. The battle. The battle. The battle. The battle. For justice! 